Detective Han, there are a few things in your report that don't add up. Can you run me through the events again? So, Detective Ryan, tell me exactly what happened. Detective Han and myself went to investigate reports of criminal activity. How did you hear about it? I got a lead. What, from Sonny Hickman, the youth lead coach? But he has no experience. He has his year to the ground. Okay, go on. Well, when we went in posing as buyers, everything seemed to be going fine. They greeted us like we were at a business meeting. Shook hands. I know, it's a little unusual for a drug buy, but I guess they thought we were big players. I wasn't going to question it. Okay, so they greeted you. Continue. Detective Ryan noticed something. Who was that? You have here in your report that Detective Ryan noticed someone in the other room and became alerted. They were all so calm. It all felt so wrong. You know that deep in your stomach? Gut feeling, like something is just wrong. It was like that. Relax, it's just my girlfriend. Okay, well tell her to come out here. She's shy, she doesn't like to meet new people. Right, she doesn't have to talk to us, I'm just saying have her come out here. Relax. Don't tell me to relax again, okay? Who the hell is that? Just have her come out here for 15 seconds so he can calm down and we can finish our business. She doesn't need to be out here. Are you trying to hide something? Relax. What did I just tell you about telling me to relax? And so that's when you drew your weapons and began firing? No. Detective Ryan started to get nervous, but he calmed down enough to know that, that we could still make this deal happen, you know, take down this whole crew. They were so focused on Ryan, it gave me an opportunity to scope out the rest of the room. Did you find anything? A couple of bags of coke, a few guns, but not the big score we were looking for. So you proceeded? Yeah. We knew they had it there somewhere. Thought that they had it there somewhere. There was enough contraband there to make the arrest, with or without the big score. But we figured they had it in the back with that mystery fourth person. Guarding it in case things went sideways. Protecting it in case we were as bad as they were. And when did the shooting start? I'm working to that part. Okay. So, I'm freaked out because they have someone in the back that they refuse to have come identify themselves. They were all focused on Detective Ryan, but we noticed as soon as she came out that door. And that's when you drew your weapons and began shooting? No. Not until we knew things were going south. And we were on the wrong end of screw. Shit, Ryan! How did you know all four were dead? We were certain. How did that make you feel? I wish it went down smoother without all the gunfire. And them in prison. Every day, when I get ready, I pray I don't have to draw my gun. But it was them or us. Did you find any drugs? Almost a kilo of cocaine, plus the unregistered weapons. Not exactly what we were looking for, but we still got some bad people off the street. Well, it looks like a clean shoot to me. You and Detective Ryan will have to be cleared through our department psychologist before returning to active duty since you were involved in the shooting. But that's just a formality now. Thank you.
stash this until the heat dies down. 